Well, hello again, everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of the uh, Monster Scenes uh, Vampirella edition. Um, like I stated before in the episode one, uh, I was going to start uh, with the uh, skin tones for uh, Vampirella. Um, so I basically uh, started off again with uh, the burnt sienna, the raw sienna, and the titanium white. Um, I basically went ahead and first uh, mixed these two together 50-50 to give me this base coat right here. Um, and then once I established that, I went ahead and uh, applied uh, a little bit more of the raw sienna with the titanium white to lighten um, lighten up the flesh tones. Uh, so that would be my mid-tone range for this one. And I do have some left over. I put in this jar for future uh, purposes. Um, so basically what I did for Vampirella is uh, after I established the mid-tone is I went ahead and sprayed her down with the airbrush and uh, once that was done I basically uh, went ahead for the rest of her body uh, and went ahead and uh, hand brushed everything from that point on because she's so small she only stands about five inches tall and of course she is one thirteen scale um, so basically what I ended up doing after I took care of her mid-tone, like I said before, is I went back and I actually, since she is a vampire, I want her skin to be a little bit more pale looking. So I actually got some of this Craft Smart Flush Satin Acrylic and uh, did the final layer with the airbrush for her uh, skin. So uh, once that was done, I went ahead and actually got some folk art. Uh, this is berries and cream. Uh, actually is going to look kind of like this color right here. And uh, that's just for doing some little touch up and highlights on her skin. So uh, once that was done, I uh, basically started with uh, her hair and worked her way down to her boots. Uh, for the hair, uh, I went with the Craft Smart uh, Black Satin. Uh, let me move this up a little bit. So that's the for the hair. Uh, and since uh, I kind of like uh, want to kind of do the comic book version for her hair, so once I did the base coat of her hair with the black satin, I did some highlights uh, with some folk art cobalt blue uh, number 720 and I just kind of highlight some areas on her her head there uh, between her uh, hairline so that once that was done I went ahead and started working on her uh, um, eyebrows uh, and for her eyebrows uh, you can see here's my little color palette uh, on there um, so for the eyebrows I again chose the uh, black satin with a toothpick I cut it at 45 degree angle so it's a nice point on there uh, and just highlight her eyebrows um, this color right here is the actual bright blue uh, satin from Craftsmart and I actually applied a little bit of the uh, white to give a real nice light coat and that's going to be her uh, eye shadow for her around her uh, top part of her eyelids um, so I went ahead and did that same thing with the toothpick. Um, as far as her costume is concerned, uh, we chose this color right here. The red is the holiday red, which is over here, which is the uh, Craft Smart Satin Acrylic. Uh, I, played, I applied that as a base coat and hand brushed that all in for her costume. So those were basically my craft acrylic colors uh, that I used. Uh, then I went ahead and changed gears because uh, she had her uh, earrings and her armband and her wristband. And for those, I went ahead and used the uh, Tamiya uh, for her armband. was the Copper XF-6. And uh, I applied that all the way around her armband. And then uh, once that was done, 
I went with the Tamiya Gold Leaf X-12 and I dry brushed the insert of her armband just to highlight some of the details that were, were part of the uh, armband itself. And then as far as her, that holds her kind of, uh, neck collar in place, I painted that uh, gold leaf as well as the uh, bat on her costume and the uh, wrist plate, uh, bracelet as well with the gold leaf. Okay, all hand brushed. Um, once the uh, Holiday Red Craft Smart acrylic was dry on her costume, uh, I actually went back and I used the uh, Tamiya X-7 red uh, and actually hand brushed that uh, and to give it that nice red glossy uh, look to it. Um, so, like I say, <clears throat> without further ado, let me uh, present you with uh, uh, Vampire, uh, Vampirella as uh, she looks right now. Uh, let me bring her over. Oop, sorry. And here she is. Right. And uh, like I said, uh, this was all done with uh, craft acrylics again, as well as some of the Tamiya paints. I'll kind of do a 360 for you here. Um, I also went back and, and I uh, painted her fingernails as well with some of the uh, black satin, uh, just to kind of uh, coordinate everything with the colors. But uh, there she is as far as uh, the figure uh, of Vampirella. She's uh, ready for some, uh, I'm going to go ahead and airbrush some uh, future on her to seal in all the paint. And then the next thing we'll do is to uh, go ahead and start working on the base. And, uh, and I got a couple ideas of how I want to do that. But uh, so like I said, there she is. Um, and uh, next time we will, uh, next episode we'll be dealing with the actual uh, base itself. And uh, so until then, catch you all later. Have a good day and uh, stay tuned. Bye.